Our project is predictions on California road accident severity. Approximately 1.35 million people die each year because of road traffic crashes. It is crucial to predict the severity of accidents. Accurate prediction provides important information for emergency responders to evaluate potential impacts on public safety and prepare accordingly. Based on the location, time, and weather information, we apply machine learning models to predict the severity of car accidents in California. The original data set we start with contains both numerical and text features. We simplify text into keywords and convert them using one hot encoding. With the pre-processed data, we apply decision tree KNN and SVN with different hyperparameters and metrics to predict. Comparing different models, we get the best result from decision tree with accuracy 0.927. In decision tree, we first tune those two parameters. We determine when will the decision tree stop dividing. Smaller values lead to later stops and vice versa. To balance the influence of different classes, we use balanced weights. However, our test data is imbalanced. Therefore, the imbalanced classifier performs better. We also try minimal cost complexity pruning. We prune unnecessary branches of a complete tree with threshold alpha to avoid overfitting. Here, we compare KNN models with different distance matrix. Manhattan distance outperforms Euclidean distance. This is because Manhattan distance handles data with binary attributes well, and our data contains a lot of binary numbers as we use one hot encoding. Weighted KNN has better performance than uniform KNN. In a distance weighted KNN, the closer the neighbor, the more, the more important it is. Thus, we can preserve generalization when we increase the number of neighbors. For SVM, we tried linear poly and RBF kernels. Poly and RBF have higher accuracy than the linear model, possibly because they use nonlinear hyperplanes. SVM training is super slow with a large number of data points. Training 8,000 samples provides the best trade-off between accuracy and speed. We tuned both C and gamma for poly and RBF kernels. C is the penalty term of the arrow. It controls the trade-off between smooth decision boundary and training accuracy. Gamma controls nonlinear hyperplanes. The higher gamma is, the harder it tries to fit the training data. That's all for our project. Thanks for watching.